Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first Namma Adventure Race organized by Nth Adventure here in Mulki, Mangalore, India. So the Namma Adventure Race is a multidisciplinary race which involves road running, trail running, kayaking, mountain biking and navigating through 60 kilometers of open territory. And it looks like the teams are already here for the race briefing. Our team name is Skyrunners. Team Stairs. We are Team S3G. S3G. Yeah, so we are Team Veera Kannadi Guru. Coastal Comrades. I think we are the best prepared team. For them, I've prepared for all of them, so I got their back. So we made sure that she ran all the miles. She cycled all the way. No, so no, you're going no. to carry the race for us today. Hoping to kill the race tomorrow though. Or ourselves. <laughs> Probably the last <laughs> Because we are trail runners, so yeah, definitely we, we like suffering here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't finish. Start at the start point, end at the end point. Don't give up. Don't give up. We had roughly one and a half month, one month preparation we had. It's fun. We're here to have fun. And and uh, you know, push our limits and then have more fun again, that's it. <laughs> We're actually two doctors and two maths professors here. Uh, we kind of got together for this event. We are looking forward to see what uh, route they have made. Oh. I mean, We're just trying to stick to our basics, get the basics right. Way too humid compared to what we have trained in. It's been rain, all raining in Bangalore, so coming here to Mangalore was, a, was kind of all the way from south to north. So, uh, AR Asia series is coming up to India. Uh, no, because of uh, Nth Adventure that, that, that has come up to India, which is really good. So that we'll get a good exposure from India so that we can go out and participate in the world, uh, at the world level. So you ask, it's feel amazing because it's the first India race ever happening in India and organized by Indian people. So that's crazy you know, feel to see that, you know. This is the first time and the first time we're going to be getting the ranks and all that. Amazing, it's amazing awesome. that, you know, people in India are pushing themselves so me like mentally and physically and we are super excited to be a part of it. Honestly, didn't think the magnitude of the event though. Like you said, the first time in the country and very excited to be a part of the team. Yeah. <laughs> And this is how Team Skyrunners warms up for their race. <laughs> Orienteering is probably what sets this race apart from all other races. Why? Because most races you have a set path and you just follow the route and you get to the finish line. However, in this race, the field is wide open. You have about 130 kilometers of wilderness and road, which is given to you on a map. And if you look at some of the teams right now, going through their maps, trying to figure out the best possible route to get from point A to point B. Along the race, you have about 16 different checkpoints and activities here and there. And the goal of the team is to find the best route from one point to another and also enjoy these activities. Athletes will be starting from Kayak Boy and running a good 8 kilometers till a dam where they get to transition from running to kayaking and kayak another 8 kilometers all the way back here.
Kayaking starts from Palima Dam, which is around 8-10 km from here. Kayaking is almost like 10 or 20 percent of the race, but I think it is important part of the race because if you if somebody doesn't maintain good posture while they're kayaking, they might be uncomfortable after finishing kayaking. So it's very important that how they kayak those 20 percent. It's less, but it's an important part. Uh, route is very straightforward, except few here and there. They are confusing route, and of course, it is very scenic and covered with mangroves, lot of birds. Oh wow, they caught up! Right now, we are at transition area 2 where all the athletes go from kayaks to mountain terrain running for about 18 kilometers in the hot sun. Right now, you can see there's a lot of physio and a lot of muscle therapy happening. We have the sky runners who are currently in the lead, who have already kind of taken off. Team, three and a half people have really caught up with them. They had a huge lead initially, but I'm sure uh, the true test is up ahead where the mountain terrain starts and they have to run for about 18 kilometers. Let's see how that goes. So after a very long and hot day by the beach, all the athletes are now at a temple that I don't know the name of. Basically this is transition area number 3 where all the runners now kind of replenish themselves, hydrate, uh, get a little physio done and then jump out to their cycles and the MTB leg starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
यहाँ से the tricky part is right now it's becoming dark which means once they hit the mountain terrain area it's going to be pitch dark and they have to rely completely on their torches for light it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of carnage can't wait to catch these guys on the road This, 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 this terrain? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, right here. Like it was on literally that side, this, yeah. thick. Thick. this thick. What? Yeah. This thick. Okay. One cycle, Shreyas. Shreyas' cycle is, uh, this thing, cycle chain is gone. Okay. Uh, I've told them to head to the next checkpoint. They'll be heading in a yeah. couple of minutes. But is there any way to fix it? Cut, I need a hammer and a... No, no, no. He, he has to come to transition because vehicles are here. Fuck! Ah. Trump. Cramping, huh? Yeah. Where's the cramp? Quads. Yes. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Where's the cramp? No, no, no. Yeah. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Oh. Where's the cramp? He's, uh, he's cramping. What? He's cramping? Yeah. Oh. Can you lie on his stomach? Yeah. He's well. Oh. Huh? You go, you go. No, yeah, but he's dropped it right on his stomach. Yeah. Yeah. You go, you go, you go. Leave it free. Ah. Leave it free. Ah. Leave it free. Ah. Be alright, bro. Leave it free. Leave any free? Relax. Come down. Leave it free. Nothing. Bend your knee. It will be better if you bend your knee. Yes, bend your knee. Hold your foot down. Yes. It will be fine. It will be fine. Breathe. Extend it. Slowly. Bend it back again. Bend it back again. Almost. 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 Do it again. Tell him to sit down, sir. Breathe. 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 Deep breathe. It will be better. Sit down. Better? Yeah. Hold the quad stretch. Take it down, guys. Aram se. You sit on the gate. Sit on the clearly said gate, right? Sir, this is the door. Please, another 60 kilometers or something. 60, 70. Correct. Rah, what do we do? Call it. Then come. Let's go home. I'm not calling it. <laughs> so I don't know shit, bro. Right? <laughs> so no, no. Huh? This you can attach it to this him or something. Way? First, you have to attach that part. It's like a post material. Yeah, give me a minute. I feel like you can just grab this, that's it, that's enough. Oh, you want to grab that? Yeah, right? yeah, come here. Hopefully they are not asking to sell. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> it is windy, so it's on his light. You are like we are entering some jungle. It's a thick forest. Just I want to see how it has happened. I have broken my tooth. Okay. One tooth. So. Teeth. Okay. Teeth. Okay. Teeth. Hey, you're a little bit. You're a little bit. You're a little bit. You're a little bit. 
Yeah, it's like you know, wherever you go, within 10 meters, you will find a light. Means that's a house. Come back. Ghost. Yeah, our bold goda, the first team, they have made sure everybody got awake. <laughs> they are lucky. They are lucky. They are lucky. They are lucky. Last leg. Shut! Last time the one one! One, two, three! Shut! Shut! Shut!